Today is a great opportunity to meet the first female artist that registered at LinkedIn New York City Women of the World, Orna Adoram from Tel Aviv, Israel. Orna, I wish I was in person in Tel Aviv today with you. How are you? Ah, it would be great. I would be very honored to have you here in my studio and take you around Israel. It's a beautiful country. I don't Maybe one it. day. One yes. day? Yes, for sure. One day, soon. Soon. We are here. You defined yourself as an abstract painter. How was the beginning of the art investigation or was all intuitive? I always been painting since I can remember myself. But my process is uh, for my inner very deep place and through meditation. So I don't do any research and any investigation or anything for my art. Um, I don't really mind what's going on outside. I really walking from inside. So that's why I don't need any investigation for it. I'm connecting to my inner uh, sources and I'm getting a lot of leftovers from, of building materials, recycled uh, building materials, and I work with them. So I get the materials such as glue and plaster and industrial colors and everything that maybe you can see around me. And together with my meditation, it, something comes out on the, on the canvas. It's not something that I'm planning or whatever. If I have a subject for, let's say, for an exhibition, I would just think about it, see what I have around, and that's, it comes out. I feel that I combine the practical world of architectural uh, materials, which I'm coming from. I had my office as an interior designer for many years. I take some uh, symbols from the spiritual world and Together it comes to the canvas somehow. I don't know even how it comes. Uh, and it's kind of a journey, a journey to my life, to my love, to my kids, to my country. So it's really something from inside. Um, well, definitely there is a yeah. powerful inner voice that we have yeah. to listen to. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm here in Tel Aviv, and as we said, that's it, it's the center of my life and my creation and everything. But I studied in New York, and I lived in New York for a few years, and I exhibit in New York, waiting for your beautiful exhibition as well. Are we all so, waiting for that exhibition, but we're yeah, we're waiting for wait for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I believe that. Those two amazing cities uh, ins inspire my art as well as other things that I'm doing and cultures that I visit and places and the beach, which is very close and I'm going along the beach and it's a great inspiration for me. You have it all in that country. No yeah. question about it. Yeah, we have. Orna, now being an Israeli female artist, how do you see the world of art? Are women having more freedom to create and exhibition opportunities? I'm talking especially about Israel now. Um, I don't feel that I have other opportunities as men, but sometimes I think that when a woman is a, a woman artist is coming to an exhibition, they treat her a little bit like it was a kind of a, hobby and not a professional and men a little bit more but when i come to the exhibition with my art it's my art and not my gender uh, in israel i don't think that we have um, any problems as being a woman in any world of uh, kind of work that you're doing but coming to exhibitions outside of israel sometimes being not a woman but being israeli opens doors, sometimes it's the other way around. So it's a bit different. Good point of view. And the question that everybody gets at the end is, <laughs> if you have the opportunity to go out to lunch 
with the artist of your admiration? Who would that be? Mm. I don't think I have one. Okay. I don't think I admire. Okay. Uh, there are many, uh, several modern artists, but uh, Mark Rothko, okay. I think, is one of them. I loved the way he treated colors. And when I started, uh, I didn't know about him anything. And somebody told me that I resemble him. I don't see him, but for sure, it's a huge, huge compliment for me. Fantastic. <laughs> and... Um, if I'm going to a, somebody that is alive now, I'm looking at uh, Mark Bradford from California, right. yes. which I would be very happy to visit his studio if you know him in yes. California. Um, I, I love the way he's recycling things. I'm working only with recycled things, but he's doing amazing, amazing things. I just saw a film about him, I don't know, a few years ago, not, a, not many, and I fell in love with his work. 